Now, 27 Sports with Alec Osmus. In the Packers' last four trips to Soldier Field, they put up at least 30 points. That was not the end result in the box score today, but finally a Packers win nonetheless. Well, the growing pains rolling on for Mike McCarthy with this young offense, and they continue to have injuries. The Packers pick up another one early in the first quarter. Running back Aaron Jones, slow to get up after a gain of six. He left the game with a knee injury. He awaits an MRI tomorrow. Well, after both teams exchange field goals in the first time, Montgomery wide open real estate, 37 yards, giving the Packers a 10-3 lead. Later in the first half, the Bears think they have a touchdown here with Benny Cunningham. He reaches for the pylon. The Bears would challenge it again, thinking they have a touchdown. Well, after the challenge, a fumble in the end zone is the call. That's a turnover. The Packers lead 10-6 at the half, fourth quarter now. A sigh of relief for Hundley. A touchdown pass to Devontae Adams. The Packers' first touchdown pass since Rodgers got hurt back in week six as Green Bay hangs on for a 23-16 win in the Windy City. And that's where you can find our own Amy Gill with more from Soldier Field. It was a wet and a crazy game here in Chicago, but the Packers were able to get off their three-game losing skid, and quarterback Brett Hundley was able to win his first game as the Packers' starting QB. The team says that it gives him a lot of confidence heading forward. Every snap that he takes in a game is going to build not only his confidence, but his, um, his coolness and his collectiveness. You know, those, those reps in games are invaluable. You can't really put a a number on it. It feels amazing. It's, it's truly a blessing, um, especially to come in and uh, especially a rivalry game. You know, uh, there was a lot going into this game. Um, and, uh, you know, I just think the team, um, not only the offense, the offensive line receivers, running backs, um, but the defense played their butts off too. The Packers defense held the Bears run game to 55 yards, making them rely on the passing game. Rookie QB Mitchell Trubisky was sacked five times, three of them from Nick Perry. Nick Perry's, I mean, so powerful. He's able to, you know, obviously set all his rushes up with the bull rush, and um, Nick obviously had a big day today. Packers running backs hurting after this win. Aaron Jones left early and was ruled out with a leg injury, while Ty Montgomery left with an injury to his ribs. That left Jamal Williams to pick up the load in the second half. He carried the ball 20 times for 67 yards. When you're down and run, run back in your personnel groups and you're trying to, you know, you want to run the ball and be action pass a game, your quarterback has to handle that. He did a heck of a job. Next up for the Packers, they will head back to Lambeau Field next Sunday, where they will host the Baltimore Ravens. At Soldier Field in Chicago, Amy Gill, 27 Sports. When we come back, Khalil Iverson didn't even shoot the ball on Friday. Tonight, he led the Badgers in scoring in a win over Yale. We'll check in at the Kohl Center next.